Hey guys, Mitch here from Cinema Suite. Welcome to the Cinema Themes tutorial. We're going to be talking about our new product, Cinema Themes, taking a look at it. We're going to go through all 50 themes it comes with, and I'm going to show you how to set up the project, and um, yeah, so let's get started. We're going to be uh, looking at Robot Labs. Everyone knows how that's supposed to look, so I figured we'd go with something that everyone's familiar with. First thing you're going to need to do is import Cinema Themes into your project. If you got it from the Asset Store, you could just import it right from there. If you bought it from our site or somewhere else, you could just drag and drop the package in or uh, go to Assets, Import. You also want to go ahead and make sure that Image Effects is imported as well, as this is necessary to run Cinema Themes. So once you have those two things imported, we just go to our camera and we're going to say Add Component and go to Image Effects color adjustments and we're going to pick color correction 3d lookup texture and if you imported cinema themes correctly when you go to us uh, pick a texture we're going to see all of our 50 let's show up and all you have to do then is pick one like uh, we'll start with 1960 click convert and apply and right away if you go to the game view you can see that effect showing up so that's before after we're going to go through the rest of the effects. This is 1960, by the way. Take a look at action. Hit convert and apply. And got a nice action-y sort of effect. Alien invasion is quite cool. A little bit of a green tinge to it. Just before and after again. Got alien world, which is a little crazy. Got bad film. Sort of like you left your film out in the sun or something. We got... What's this one? Beach, like a day at the beach, a little warm. Bleach bypass, which is, um, you know, using a lot of films, kind of blown out whites, super contrasty. There's the before and after. Cross process is another sort of uh, effect that you can do with film. It's when you mix up the chemicals or something in the developing process and it makes, makes it develop all weird. You got cyberpunk, which is sort of a futurish sort of look. You got dark, well, pretty self-explanatory, really. You got day for night, which is actually a process used in filmmaking where um, sometimes it's easier to shoot during the day and then convert it into what looks like nighttime after. Maybe it's just harder to light that scene at nighttime, so you just shoot it in the day and in post make it look dark. And we try to emulate that sort of look here with this uh, day for night let. Got documentary, sort of little contrasty. We got dream, which is pretty cool. Blows out the, the whites a bunch. And one of the great things about cinema themes is that it's really easy to use our theme as a starting point, and then you can go ahead and just add on uh, other image effects that you're familiar with in Unity and you know they work well, they're not gonna slow down your game a bunch. So we're just gonna throw on this bloom. It's a really great way to add to the dreamlike effect that we started with. We have Final Battle. Looks like a big fight scene finale or something. We got Fire. Looks like the scene's basically in the middle of a fire or something. Flashback, sort of like Dream, a bit darker. What else do we have? We have hackers. This one's pretty cool. Everything's a shade of green. No other colors in there. We have heat signature, which is pretty neat. It's trying to be a flur sort of effect, and you know, of course we couldn't actually figure out what's hot or what's cold in your scene, but we tried our best to sort of make it look like it's, um, you know, a heat vision sort of effect anyway, so hopefully that comes in handy. We have hipster. Sort of an Instagram sort of look, a little washed out. We got Hitchcock, one of our two black and white effects. This one's based on, um, you know, Alfred Hitchcock's old movies, black back when he did black and white movies anyway. We have Hollywood, nice classic movie look. We got horror. I'd say that looks pretty horrorish, pretty neat. We have Hot Sun pretty cool. Intensity, this is another good sort of fight scene one. You got Matrix, which is of course based on one of the 
influential color correction done in the matrix which is we got millennium which is sort of supposed to look like uh, a movie that was done in the 2000s music video looks like an old music video it's a pretty good one one of my favorites we got negative which is actually different than uh, just inverting the colors it's based on um, a film negative we got neutral which is actually just nothing at all it's just um, this isn't even part of cinema themes it just comes in image effects so if you're wondering what that is it's just the sort of baseline what and if you take this and actually edit it in Photoshop um, that's how we made all these so you can go and take neutral and make your own uh, LUT if you really wanted to just add a couple curves or color correction stuff and you can learn how to do this stuff it's actually pretty fun should should play around with it we got noir uh, other black and white one old country's pretty neat I think that looks pretty it's subtle but it's good orange teal is a pretty weird one I mean not all of these effects are going to work perfectly from scene to scene like uh, we tried to make them as general as possible but sometimes they just they just don't make sense that's just how color correction works this one's pretty unique this is called uh, posterize and if you look over here what's actually doing is grouping together um, groups of colors so there's actually less colors in this image now it sort of bands them all together and this actually would go great with uh, edge detection script, I'd say. So if we crank up that outline here, it uh, sort of gives everything a nice thick, thick outlined cartoony look. I think that goes goes well with the posterizing. Pretty neat. Just gonna take that off and go back up here. Move on to let's see purple haze. Pretty neat. Rainbow is just crazy. It makes no sense at all. Um, I'm sure someone will find a use for it though. We also have red and blue. Pretty cool one. Red room. Looks like a dark room. It's sort of what we based it on. We have robot vision. This one's pretty cool. Got romantic. Aw. Uh, Let's just throw a bloom on there. So romantic. Robot Labs. We got Saw, which is my personal favorite. I think that looks just like the Saw movies. I really like this one. So cool. We have Sci-Fi. Pretty generic. It's, it's hard to capture Sci-Fi, the whole genre, into one uh, sort of static color correction. But, you know. We got sepia. Nothing tricky about this one. It's just just sepia tone. Sin City. Pretty cool idea. It actually just uh, lets the reds show through, sort of like um, you know the movie Sin City. We got Tex-Mex, which is actually based on uh, you know in Breaking Bad when they go over to Mexico and everything's uh, like this yellow. Yeah, that's what that's what we based it on. what else is there we have toxic it's pretty crazy it's almost like the red and blue one but uh blue and yellow instead tritone purple everything's a shade of purple got underwater if you have some sort of uh, post effect to make everything wavy it'd go really well with this what else do we have vintage like an old polaroid or something the blacks are a little blue the the whites are a little yellow. I really like these sort of lo-fi effects. We have War, maybe like Saving Private Ryan, the intro there or something. It's almost like a bleach bypass, but um, a little yellow weathered looking. We got Warm, another sort of subtle warmish one. And finally we have Weathered, which is like, a, it's another Instagram sort of sort of one. I, re I really like these. All the blacks are lifted to like a gross kind of gray and everything just sort of looks like doesn't have a lot of contrast to it. Really neat. I'm just gonna, you know, 
Go and put it back to saw here. That's not saw. Convert and apply. There we go. So that about does it for the cinema themes tutorial. If you don't know much about color correction and want to just quickly make your uh, your Unity cutscene or cinematic or even in-game stuff just look a bit cooler, you could just grab one of these LUTs and throw it on and bam, there you go. Pre-made color correction. Looks awesome. Anyway, I'm Mitch from CinemaSuite. Thanks for watching. <laughs>